Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick video here for you. Uh, it's going to be a lot of information in a very short time. Uh, Jonathan Cleck just came out with a new video. It says, are you in the presence of the enemy? Well, the question is, yeah. Or the answer to that question is, yeah. Uh, what he's done is he's uh, paired our good president, President Trump, with a bunch of Satanists. So, uh, check this out. And this, yeah, so... You know, these are people that openly, overtly, I mean, openly uh, serve Satan. Yep, there you go. Now let's pause it. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without cause. Like Obama, uh, Putin, Putin, and the, the crest of arms for Russia is the double-headed phoenix. I mean... Uh, Donald Trump's low, uh, coat of arms is a double-headed phoenix. I am not for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the tip of the spear bringing about the duality in the system in order to cause a brother to fight against brother, you know, father against son. This is it, folks. It's coming. I mean, yeah, it's coming all right. Because we're going to expose you, just like so many others have. And anybody looking into this guy, I mean, look, just look at the number of videos that this guy is, you know, people have been jumping up and down, doing his, doing their very best to expose him, but, but I digress, let go. Now, my take is, is Jonathan has a, a kundalini spirit, and I'm going to prove that to you, at least in, in my opinion. Here we go. Check this out for yourself. A joy and weeping and shaking. This is a kundalini awakening and amazingly it is exactly the same as what we have been seeing in Mr. Rolfo Gleason. Now this all began with Rodney Howard Brown imparting a new anointing into a bunch of leaders and they spread it around the world. In fact it spread like wildfire how do we know that Rodney Howard Brown had a pure anointing? How do we know it wasn't a kundalini spirit from the beginning? Because it seems absolutely identical to it. Now one of the very clearest signs of a kundalini awakening has always been these creeds. See it? You see this woman involved in the New Age movement. She's see that? walking along exhibiting these creeds happening involuntary uh, jerking motions, and the staggering thing about it is that we are seeing again and again and again these exact same type of careers right through the Toronto movement. This is all. Okay, now I'm not saying that Jonathan is part of the Toronto movement, but I'm saying that he's got the same spirit. Okay? So check this out. Here we go. Because I love God. Oh my God, did you see that? And you have to realize that. That's where we're playing again. I love God. Oh my God, did you see that? And you have to realize that the mark of the beast. Okay, speaking of mark of the beast, we're going to talk about that in a minute too. All right, also, here's another one where he's totally losing control. Anyway, I'm sorry I've been sitting here just crying my eyes out because literally you can go check it out yourself, folks. Tonight, none of my equipment worked for the radio, and I heard the Lord told me, you're done with the radio, you're done. And he told me, I just want you to podcast, but you know, or YouTube, do YouTube Live. I want you to show people, draw the images with your tablet, you've accomplished your mission. <laughs> yeah, because that's where the money is. That's where the suckers that follow him are. Also, getting back in, into this Kundalini spirit, I was thinking and thinking and thinking about this. Now, Jonathan is, is a Gnostic. Okay, you got to understand, do a little research on Gnosticism. Um, I did a quick uh, search here on the Kundalini uh, Gnosticism connection, and I, I came up 
you know, it came up. They are connected, guys. They are connected. And also, you know, I call Jonathan sometimes the vagina penis guy because all he does is talk about body parts, body parts, body parts, vaginas, penises, vaginas, penises. Look at the connection here, okay? A Kundalini awakening through sex. And then it talks, and, and some of these other sites talk about, you know, prayers. And uh, here's one here. Oh, Isis. Uh, Divine Mother Kundalini Winged Serpent of Light, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there it is. Gnostic, Gnostic, Gnostic Gospel, Gnosticism. Okay. Now, he also says, he uh, admits that he is a fallen angel. Right here. See it for yourself. I am the spirit of a fallen angel inside of human body. I am a dead angel. There it is. You heard it right out of his mouth. Right there. Okay. Now here's the next one. Um, I did a video recently, you know, talking about one of his videos that he did called You Are Exiles. You see, he believes that he's a fallen angel and he may very well be. Um, he, he, but then he'll quote, turn around and quote a scripture and he'll say, you know, but I believe in Jesus. And, uh, you know, because I confess Jesus, uh, you know, I can't say that. Well, maybe he's just uh, demonically possessed. Uh, who knows? I mean, we, we know that there's a lot of demonically led, you know, preachers and pastors. I mean, we... we there's been eyewitness after eyewitness after eyewitness. The, you know, they're preaching on Sunday in the pulpit, and Sunday night they're having, you know, pedophilia events with children in the basement. I mean, it, it's reality, guys. But here he is. He's quoting Gnostic warrior. That's that's a, he's getting information from these Gnostic sites. But he never says that. He's not leveling with you. Uh, so, um, you know, you can see my last video for more details on that. Now, also, one more thing is just because somebody has a huge following or just because somebody has a, 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 a likable personality, uh, it doesn't mean that they're accurate. I'm going to give you another example of, real quick of a, of a huge, much huger than larger than Cleck, uh, this guy denies the blood of Jesus. Here it is, John MacArthur. Hear it for yourself. I think the image of, of a bloody death is all over the Old Testament. Every animal that was sacrificed was a bloodbath. Priests were butchers who stood ankle deep in blood in the temple. It was, they were, it was a slaughterhouse. The temple was a slaughterhouse. It was bloody, and the image of that was to depict a violent death. And I think uh, when you look at the cross of Christ, you have the Passover lamb dying a bloody, violent death. And it's necessitated. It's all the imagery of the Old Testament that directs itself toward that. Now, having said that, you have to stop short of saying that we are saved by the blood of Jesus. You already said, having said that, you have to stop short. We have to stop short of saying that we were saved by the blood of Jesus. But here it is right here. For it is by the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Okay? And then I can go through this, this fellow's video, which, I, you know, you might want to check it out for yourself. Um, but he goes through and he gives multiple verses. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for many for the remission of sins. He flat Jesus, Jesus. This is Jesus talking. He shed his blood for the remission of sins. Okay? So you've got all these people, you, you know, that are twisting the scriptures like Cleck does. Here's another one. This cup is of the New Testament, my blood, which is shed for you. Okay? Let's see if I can find another one here. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy, the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath 
purchased with his own blood. And then I took the time to look up. All you got to do is look, do a little Bible search here. I did a little Bible search verses about the blood. And look at, look at all these verses that talk about, uh, here's one here. Uh, if we walk in the light, he is in the light. And we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And I could just go on and on and on, but, uh, you know, I get, I've proven the point here. So, again, last but not least, you've got all these people trying his, their very best to expose this guy. And you guys just keep supporting him. You keep enabling him to suck other people into this nightmare and... I mean, you guys are going to have be accountable. Jonathan threatens people and says, hey, if you don't believe him and, you know, you're committing blasphemy against the Holy Ghost and all that, I mean, it's a lie, a lie of the devil. He, he's twisting everything. And uh, you guys that are supporting him and giving this guy money and everything, I mean, you're, you're, you're enabling him and you're helping to lead other sheep to slaughter. So there it is, people. It's in your face. Believe it or not, there it is. I've done my job. And uh, I hope you guys will share this. And uh, God bless you. You guys take care now. Bye-bye.